everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost here and today I am show you, showing you an easier way to make some fabric or paper belly bands that might assist and um, let's just say you want to bulk mail or bulk mail you want to bulk make or mass make a bunch of these um, I was doing it the painstaking way of like you know putting a little piece of paper or you know little tiny piece you know glue maybe tacking it down with glue first putting pieces layering the paper you know, little bit by little bit, then, uh, you know, trimming the edges after, you know, I sew it, I'll trim all the edges. Well, this just might be an easy little tip to make your, you maybe your stocking stuffers go faster. You can also turn these into uh, bookmarks, um, court, like a uh, side tucks on a page, something like, like this. Boop. Oh, boop. Um, let's say you want to put something like this or like this. You can you can um, glue it as a U and make it an actual formal pocket, or you could just glue it on the side and make it a, like a slide tuck, where you could tuck things in here. Um, same thing with the top, the bottom, or use it as a belly band, a belly band, a horizontal or vertical. Glue it at the top, glue it at the bottom, and then you can slip items under here as you so choose. So um, just some random ideas there, but a quick way to make these a little bit easier, a little faster. Um, just, you know, it's funny how you make a hundred of these things and then finally it dawns on you, you know? And uh, you guys may know all this already and uh, excuse me for those who are familiar with this, but it was new to me as I realized it. So what I, my thought was, why not just grab, this happens to be a piece of cardstock that I got at a thrift store and um, I think it's nine by 12, but it could be any size piece of cardstock or um, direct mail, something like that. Yeah, nine by 12. Um, so what I did was I just took a bunch of material. I was out in the garage going through my material. I just tore a bunch of strips, long strips from bed sheets, from muslin, from lace, from curtains, from linens, from uh, coffee dyed uh, material, stuff like that. Whatever I had, I got, I cut some, uh, or tore. I tore. Tearing is faster. Uh, just so you know, um, mu the muslin sheets are pretty easy to tear. Some of the thicker material is harder to tear. I would stick to the easier ones so you don't exhaust yourself in the process. Okay, but basically what I did was instead of just doing one at a time, I did all these at a time by just making the same movements of placing the stuff down once so this is what i did i just took some glue stick this is just a you could use any glue stick doesn't have to be a fancy glue stick here but you're just basically trying to tack it in place so that uh um doesn't run around on you uh, okay so let's see this is a bed sheet laundered bed sheet i'm just gonna put that right across the top okay done all right now i'm just gonna keep going got some pretty lace let's do this okay there we go and yes, I know the top part is not uh, secure, but you know, um, you can either glue or sew. And I think I'll show sewing just because that's what I did with the other one, but uh, you don't, you can glue these as well. Um, I think it's actually faster to sew, but let's say a piece doesn't go all the way. What do you do? What do you do, Pam? Well, let's just say you do have a bag of little scraps and this is where you can come in and use that little scrap to kind of fill in the, the little empty spot there. And uh, you can keep going, you know, and that way uh, life is good. Life is grand and uh, you are motoring along. Okay. The thing, the whole thing about it is, um, I should really use one of my non-favorite glue sticks. Okay. Uh, this is some Yoohoo glue. It turns, it's blue and then when it dries, it uh, trains, turns clear so you can see when it's drying on you. But um, let me go back to my, what do we got? I'm just going for random. I don't know. Random I don't knows. Here we go. Here's one. Here's a who knew. Who knew? <laughs> and um, how about this? You know, I have another one. I, this is some piece of muslin got from somewhere. Probably a thrift store. Not trying to think about it too much. Just laying it down, laying it down. And actually it goes pretty fast. Here's another pretty one. A little green one. Okay, it's kind of came from a piece of linen, I think. I know, I know. Yes, I tore up the linen. Um, Okay, there we go. I think I need a little more glue. Can you see? I think so, yeah. Okay. 
And let's see, one more piece, one more piece, Pam. What you got? You got a whole bunch of stuff over here. Oh, I need two more pieces. Who am I kidding? Okay, here's some. Here's some something or other. All right, you are going to become part of the process. Yes, you are. I don't know from whence you came. I think you were actually part of a, um, uh, what are those things called that go around the bottom of the bed? Bed skirt, bed skirt, thank you. Yeah, I heard that coming across from somewhere. Okay, and maybe we will, well, we'll put the same color. Let me just trim this off over here. What, have I got enough left? Yeah, um, same color maybe on the bottom. Is this wide enough? I don't know, maybe I need one more piece. No, well, let's just put this on the bottom now. And I'm going to put a piece right across here so you can decide your bottom. You can decide your bottom. <laughs> and then uh, put the last piece on on top. That's okay, as long as it attaches to some gluey spot somewhere. I um, just need a contrasting something. Anything. Okay, I know I pulled out a bunch of stuff. Okay, this is pretty. Okay, this is contrasting. All right, here we go. This is kind of, this came from a scarf. A lot of good material in um, scarves. So if you see the scarves and they're, and they're priced pretty cheap, that might be a nice place to uh, get some pretty materials. You don't want to, if you don't want to spend the farm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend the farm. No, 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 no. And all those little blue marks are going to vanish. All right. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is just give it a good press down. So you can piecemeal them if you need to, okay? Um, if they weren't long enough, uh, so don't think you can't. I'm just gonna flip it over. Let's hope everybody stays on board. Stay on board, everybody. Oh, they're all attached over there. Okay, they're anchored. Let me just cut this side off first. <laughs> oh, let me show you how easy it is and then watch me struggle. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna get the super longs and then I'll do a, I'll do a trim later. Okay. Okay. There we go. Why don't you get back on there, buddy? All right. I'm just going to, what can you see? I'm going to come along and, okay, can't see the edge of my paper, but whoops. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Now it's working. Okay. Maybe not right now. Let me get my other scissors. Let me get my don't fail me nows. Don't fail me nows. All right, this will go through. Okay. Now I can turn it over a lot more easily so I can see where I need to whore. I need to. And maybe I don't want to bring it right to the edge. Maybe I want to leave a little overhang. I can always go back and trim later. All right. Let's hot up, hot up. Let's haul on over to the uh, sewing machine and we'll see what we can do with this. Ready? All right, hold on. Okay, so here's the concept. Uh, we're basically gonna zigzag stitch up and down like this, but what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna put one, a space, then two in a space, and then two in a space. And the reason why we put two is because we're gonna cut in between the two and that's gonna separate them from each other. So in theory, this should work, we shall see. I'm going to start on the downward trajectory just because it's easier when the fabric's all going in one direction. Am I on four? Nope. Four is my zigzag. All right. Ready to zig? Let's zag. And you're just making sure that um, the materials are where they should be. can stop for a second, rearrange, tuck everybody in, and carry on. Okay, you can backstitch if you want or not, that's okay. All right, so now we're going to start to move across. We're gonna decide maybe how, how wide we want this one. Um, they can be any widths, maybe a one, two, three inches, whatever um, you would like. All right, we are rocking, we are rolling, we are down that one. So I'm not following any specific straight line, I'm just eyeballing this. And now I'm gonna do this one relatively close, thin and um, close enough so they, um, I use 
the bulk of my material but far enough apart so I can cut between them and just keep into account if you want to do a zigzag cut or like a pinking shear cut you might want to leave a little extra room okay So now I have one and then I have two space. Now I'm going to do uh, two uh, like railroad tracks, twos, all the way until I get to the very end, which will close off in another one. And we're rocking and we're rolling. And how's your day going? And I see a gnat. Go away, gnat. Why do you think my sewing is exciting? <laughs> you just want to be, you just want to be on TV. Okay. All right, gnat. All right. Go away. All right, and we'll do this one beside, making my railroad tracks. That's what I'm gonna call them, railroad tracks. Two rows of zigzag laid down close to each other. And this is gonna tack everything down nicely. And like I said, you could just glue the bejeebers out of this too if you, if you don't wanna sew, so that's fine. And first railroad track. I know this is exciting, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm looking out my window as I'm uh, sewing, and uh, I see super pest control across the way at the neighbor's house. Hey, I have a gnat. Can you come help me? I have one gnat, and he needs to be dealt with. I think I think he's already been dealt with. <laughs> I think I I whooshed him off into the abyss. I don't know how long gnats live, so I'm sure it's um, yeah. I don't want to kill the little guy immediately. I could take him outside. Oh, there's a lizard on my window going, uh, I'll take him, I'll take him. You got no, 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 don't know what to do with your gnat? Give him to me. Oh, a little Sunny, Sunny story. Yesterday, Sunny was uh, working on something over by my uh, sliding patio door, the glass door. So I figured I better go and check it out. What is it? What's he got in his mouth, right? And uh, it was a dragonfly, a little uh, baby dragonfly. And the thing was still alive. So I had to extricate it from Sunny's mouth. Of course, Sonny was so proud and wanted to show me what he found. And uh, I took the dragonfly outside. And uh, I don't know if he was like beyond repair, but he had, still had a little life in him. And I just thought maybe he would rather be outside for his last few breaths, um, uh, you know, versus in the jaws of my sun, sun, sunshine. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, every once in a while, somebody flies in the front door when we come in the front door. Yeah. Uh, okay, you can turn it around if you want. If it's easier to sew this way, just turn it around and carry on. And you can make these perfectly straight, like Hawkeye straight, make marks ahead of time so you can follow them. Or you could just freewheel it. Yeah, just creatively rectilis abandon it. And um, well, that's my option. Okay, and I, I kind of like the uh, the wiggle, the wiggle in the um, zigzag. I think it kind of gives it a cool handmade look. I can't get any more handmade than this. Some strange woman sewing fabric after she glued it to paper. What is she doing? All right, carry on. We'll do the second one. Maybe that's kind of close. And then we're almost done. Still like summer here, very hot. Waiting for another waft of fall. Please come to us fall. Oh, I'm almost at the string too. This is gonna be just, just making it. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, ah, ah. Get in there. Mm. Nope. Mm. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. I'll move that finger. Uh oh, ah! Okay, there we go. Whoa, boy, that finger almost got it. Don't do what I do. I do everything wrong sewing. I'll probably, sew my fingers together yeah I know people have told me don't do that get your fingers away you're absolutely right do not put your fingers near the needle that is craziness don't do it don't do it okay Ta -da! that's what we got can you see that Ta -da! all right not very well Let me... Ta -da! okay back we go hold on there we go now hey you could say hey this would be really cool just as a 
a journal cover. Yeah, that would be cool. So see how quick you can make something that could be a journal cover. It could be a, you could glue the edges together. It could be a little pouch. I mean, a lot of things you could do like a trifold. I mean, hey, hey, we got possibilities here. Again, this is a nine by 12. So just kind of remember that. And let me grab my, oh, sorry. I almost stepped on Sunny. <laughs> sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. Did I miss you? Yes. Okay. He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's learning to navigate feet. Okay, so I am just going in with my pink and shears. My pink and shears, my pink and shears. Going through their fabric scissors, but I use them on paper and fabric. And actually, I think the thing says fabric or paper, so it's another thing you need a little help to get it going. Get her going, get her done. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a third you know, zoom down the center if you want to anchor it down uh, completely without any, any uh, thing coming up at you. But I think this is actually fine. Uh, okay, here we go. Cutting, cutting, cutting. They also have that little fabric uh, cutting wheelie thing. Well, this is paper too, so I don't know how well that would do. I don't know. This just seems to be the easiest way to do this. But in the time I could make like one, one and a half, I can make, I don't know, however many I made here. Now this could be considered done. This could be considered a base and you want to add elements on top of that. So with any remaining time here, we'll just play with some of these and add some elements and see what kind of fun we can have with these little belly banderoos. Just offering ideas. Okay. From the relentless vacuous hole called my brain. <laughs> All right. So we need a little extra trim for these little side dangles. So come in here. There we go. All right. Let's move out all the extraneous pieces of whatnot and such. Okay. Scissors out of the way. Where do we get? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. We got six total. Oh, no, wait. We got seven. Look at that. Any more? Any more want to pop up? Um, so I think that was kind of cool that they are, they're just so much faster to create if you want to make a bunch as bases, um, as belly bands, uh, as uh, side tucks, as what, you, whatever have you. If you've got a bunch of these ready to go, you know, hey, you've got possibilities on your table. All right, so let's just play with some of these and see what we can do. Oh, I have this... I have a butterfly with some orange in it. He looks like he could do something here. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm going to fussy cut. Really? Really? Yeah, I am. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Turn the paper. Not the scissors. I don't know. That always befuddled me. Turn the paper, not the scissors. I got to turn. I got to turn the paper. I got to turn the scissors. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's, let's, let's. I can't look at so many at once. It's overwhelming. Okay. Ah, that's pretty. I like that's a good start, right? Okay, we can all we can all slap that puppy down. Let's do that. Okay, I got oh I need my my little glue thing. Okay, here we go. Yep. Just an old magazine. Use it as a, a thing to glue on. And then when it gets too gluey, I just I just change it. That's the easiest way. Um what else do we want to put on there, Pam? What do you got on the table? Let's try and use up what you have on the table. Okay. All right. This is what I have on my table. I have this. Where would you go nicely? Uh, maybe there. That's kind of cool, but let's brown you up a little bit. Or maybe black you up because I have black on the table. Use what's on the table. Pulling from the black in here. Giving it a little more emphasis. Okay. Maybe go the opposite way because that guy's going that way. This is um, a faux... Scrabble piece must be have been for um, crafting at some point. Definitely got that in a grab bag. Boop. Hey. Okay. Um, and what else? Let's see what we got. See we got. I have other little bits of lace. So you can add little bits of things on top. There's no reason why you can't. It's 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 your uh, belly band. Okay. I do that. Okay. What's that? All right. We'll do that one this way because you know that one's. It's okay if they hang over too. Um, yep. And let me put this on something so you can see it's like very noisy there. Okay, there we go. Better. All right. What else we have? What else we have? We have all sorts of stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. Settle down. Um, what's this? 
some kind of weird sticker. I think that covers up too much. We want to we want to accent, not uh, cover. All right, I'm pulling out the big guns. Everybody, you know what's coming. Here it comes. Yep. Did I turn the on back on? Yes. Okay. Um, I have to be very mindful of that lately. Ah, uh, let's see. What color would be good? Yes, yes. I'm going for the liquid pearls. Maybe. That's going to take forever to dry, but it's okay because I don't need to do much else to it. It's not like I'm working in a book. Got the, Oh, this one might be nice, though. That's kind of very colorful. Oh, what color is that? What color is that? Hmm? Oh, sunset. Wow. All right. I don't know. Okay, I'll try it. Let's see what that looks like. Here we go. Can you see? Can you see? I'll probably need to... No, oh, no, I don't need to clear it. One, two, three... Four, five. Well, I, make, I guess you could almost make these as if they were um, like dots of a ticket, you know, like the little perforations, faux perforations. That's kind of cute. You want to in here too? Okay. I heard you. Yep, that was uh, Sally in the back spoke up. I heard you. Go down. Down up. Down up. Now, the, you know what the whole thing is, right? You don't touch it until you're done oh okay let me just put a few of these here i kind of like that okay we'll, we'll try different techniques Let's, we'll try different things i've got seven of these to play with yeah okay whoop that was a big one all right so i'm going to put that aside to dry very simple nothing nothing super fancy about it over there. There you go. Way out of my way. Oh, I cleaned my desk. I cleaned my desk. Yes. Yay. You know, this is looking kind of, um, it's very colorful and I, I kind of want to knock it back a bit. Let's see. Let me get some brown inky stuff and kind of grunge it up a little. Let's grunge it. Let's grunge it. Yeah. Here we go. Let me put it this way so you can see. That'd be nice, huh? Yeah. Get the edges just a little dirty. Somebody's saying, why on earth are you making it dirty? It looks so cute the way it was. I don't know. Just having fun today. Just goofing off. Um, I'm going to put those away now. Okay. Now I have this one little thing full of little bits. Where are you little bits? Whoa. Okay. Got to retrieve that paper. Sunny will eat it. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. Let's just pull out some random stuff. All right. What's that? Okay, let's see what that is. Oh, that's a pretty little heart. That's cute. Where do you want to go there? Oh, that would be nice, right? Okay, let's add the little heart there. I think I'm going to use Fabrifix because I want, because this is kind of a bumpy surface, a bumpy fabric surface. And I know Fabrifix will stick just about anything to fabric. So I'm going to put that there. Yes, yes, I did. And oh, I've got these cute little tags. How about some of these? I don't know where I got these. Um, probably from a thrift store because I, I know I didn't say to myself hey I need some tiny micro tags nope no that never happened so let me put a little stamp on one of these just for fun we're just having cutesy fun nothing nothing right and home about much today just uh, enjoying ourselves having a good time playing with more stuff here we go boop oh did something happen yeah I got something okay yeah, let's see. Maybe maybe you want to go here. Okay. Let's glue you down. And I think I'm going to incorporate the fact that it has this little stringy thing into it. Maybe I need to... So it pops a little more. Oh, I think I have the glue on it. Yep. Okay, get the glue down. Get the glue down. All right. Now I'm just going to... I'm just going to do a little wooly woo and then tack that down wherever it landed. Okay, you're just going to live there now because that's where you are. That's where you are. I've got this cool little thing. Maybe I don't need the whole thing. Maybe I just need a piece. It's a little tiny bag. These are uh, very, actually very bright yellow bags, but I coffee dyed them. They're glassine bags and they're just like the size of your, not even your finger. Um, but they found them for a good deal somewhere. And I thought, oh, I could, I could do something with those. So maybe I just rip these apart a little bit and use the paper. I'll just use the paper. It's kind of cool. All right. Here? Okay. All right, let's put something down there. Should have left the glue upside down. Oh, look, it's still got a little in the in its belly. Yay! Yay for glue in the belly. All right, now 
I think I need something in the center. A nice little focale point. I need to use for a focale point. Um, what's that? What's that? An old ticket. Oh, that might be fun. Okay, we'll put the old ticket down. Maybe we'll ink him up just a little bit. That's an old ticket, main floor, Civic, Chicago Civic Opera. Good, Dece uh, December 2nd. Oh, that's coming up. I gotta go see the show. Uh, I miss the old days. <laughs> All right, so now I think, I don't know, I'm just having this crazy idea of um, using something to unify everything, like maybe some, some I don't know, hang on, let me dig over here for a second. All right, what do I got? Eh, okay, I'll just do something like this. Okay, uh, oh, that, maybe that, that's good. Okay, so I was I grabbed this, but then I also grabbed that because I, I didn't know what to do with any of it. So I thought I'd bring it over, and this is kind of a weirdy woo-ha. So we're just going to maybe put that down. I'm just going to lay it down and see what happens. I don't know why, we just we just are. Okay, where's a, where's a cap? Cap, cap. Oh, there you are. Okay. But this is going to take some industrial strength, something or other. Okay, let's just put some, let's put some Fabrifix down there. Uh, time to refill the bottle, Pam. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. There we go. I can always trim it if it's like over dangling. Okay. Okay. So just kind of layering it up, having fun. No. No rules, just right sort of thing. I like that, that's kind of pretty. Okay, there we go. Yeah, all right, so was that the first one? Or was that the second one? No, that's the second one, right? Okay, so that was this one. Okay, uh, maybe I want one more thing over here, huh? Yeah, I feel like it, don't you? Yeah, like something there, something, I don't know, that? Sure, why not? We'll just glue it down. Is that an egg or, or co that's a coffee with a, like a biscotti or something? And it's actually a sticker, but I think I'm just going to stick the back of the sticker right to it because it's going to make it stronger because it's got a more solid back. Okay, we're going to put you on there. I'm going to call you done. All right. So these can be intricate. These can be um, very plain. You don't have to use these crazy colors. You could use other colors. Um, you know, totally up to you. Okay, we have another one here. Let's see what can we do with this. Going deep into my little tiny pile of who knows what. All right, here, here it comes. Okay. All right, okay, here's something that probably should never be done. I'm going to glue a leaf on it because I think that's going to break up that orange a little bit. And maybe I want to nest that leaf on maybe a little piece of white or something. Where'd the leaf go? Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I like that. I don't know why I like that. I just, I just like it. Going with it. Rolling with the flowing. And so these things you can build up and um, like I said, you can make them simple or you can make them uh, very detailed. Totally up to you. Artist's choice. Okay, now this leaf has some moisture in it. It's a little dry, but um, I think it'll be okay for these purposes. Um, I never claim that anything that I make is going to last for 100,000 years because I don't know. Um, I don't use archival everything. I just kind of use what's around me and, um, you know, just hoping to inspire somebody else that, hey, maybe they might want to make something too. I don't want to get hung up on whether it's going to last 100 years. You know what I mean? You can like drive yourself crazy. Now, certain projects, obviously, you want to do that if you're preserving special pictures and stuff like that and, and you don't want anything to destroy certain very important items. Yes, 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 yes. But you're just having fun. You're just goofing around. You're just making a belly band. That's all it is. It's just a little belly band. And uh, yeah, so like we don't have to get all excited about that. That would be kind of cute. Well, yeah. Okay, let's use that. It's right here. So sometimes it is fun to prep up a bunch of things ahead of time. So if you're sitting there and you don't know what to do and you have no direction and life seems, you know, aimless, just get out your circle punch and start punching out some book pages and circles and then put some stamps in the middle of them, you know, and, and you know, then it's been a good day. You know, it's it, not all is lost. And I, I want to let you know that, that it's very important to know that days can be good. They don't all have to be pre-figured out and masterpieces created every day. No, 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 that's not necessary. Do you want to do something down here? Let's see. Oh, you are quite the lovely. I, I, I don't know what to do with you there. So let me go back into my little pieces. Oh, I got another one of these guys. 
I'm going to put him there for counterbalance. All right, we'll counterbalance you. And uh, these were just, that was, I think, a handmade leaf I cut out. Oh, these are my little handmade leaves I cut out. Oh, great. Yep. If you didn't have paper punches, this was the how to do it. It's a video somewhere I have way back there. Um, I can't remember the name of it, <laughs> but it's in there somewhere. If you don't have paper punches, what to do? Uh, if, I, if I remember it or if anybody remembers which one it was, please let me know and I'd be happy to uh, put it on there for you with this guy. Okay, a little stamp. All right. Old stamps um, are kind of cool. They add some nostalgia and uh, just kind of give you a little bit of, you know, hey, that was from another time, another day sort of feeling. Isn't that kind of cool? All right, here we go. Doop. Smoosh, smoosh. And we're down. Okay. And um, maybe one more little doodad there. I want, I, I don't know why, but I, I want my do. Oh, okay, what do you found something? I want my doodads to have meaning. There's a little heart. Does he show up? Not really. Let's find somebody else. Keep digging, Pam. Dig away. What do you got? What do you got? Check the time, Pam. Check the time. Not out of time. You know what you're going to do? Run out of time. Okay. What time we got? Okay, maybe one more stamp. Christmas stamp. That might be cool. Um, all right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh, yeah. Got to gotta wrap her up. Okay, so we got through three decoratings, and we've got four undecorated. but maybe that'll at least get you started on what to do, where to go, and how to get there. <laughs> so I hope this helped. I hope you had fun. Um, this was fun just uh, using up more scraps and uh, making these a little bit of a faster way. So uh, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share, and if, um, click the notification bell. And my favorite tools and supplies can be found in my Amazon store. Link is down below. Um, I have vintage digital kits as well as sometimes journals and surprise bundles and things like that in my Etsy shop. Link down below. My monthly emailed newsletter is free and you get a free digital image, um, junk, ju junk journal tip, checklist of supplies, and a note from the bookmaker. Um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you can get them on Apple or Spotify or about seven other platforms. And Or if you don't have any of that stuff, just go down below and there's a link and you can click it and listen to any of them you want for free. Um, I'm also found on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join the Facebook group. We're having so much fun over there. Um, we do weekly and monthly challenges and we make stuff and we create and we focus so much on creating junk journal and junk journal like items. It's a blast and um, we can learn so much over there. I've learned so much myself. And remember everybody that fun can be simple and you can make a thousand belly bands in one felt swoop before you know it. Take care from me and Sunshine. He's sleeping. I'll show you next time. <laughs> Take care everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.